We're down in the ultralight area now, visiting with M Squared, and we have the opportunity to speak with Michael Dederian of Duke Elise. Yes. So which prop are we looking at here of your line? This one is a windspoon propeller. This one is a, is a big advantage of our uh, propeller, is the weight of the prop, because it's a low weight propeller, and uh, because of the hub in carbon fiber, we, we win a lot of weight, yes. And also, the design of the blade gives a good performance, and we optimize a lot of things about the shape, especially on the tip on these blades, to reduce noise and increase efficiency. Yes, it's, it's got a very distinctive tip to it that that's right. I don't see anywhere else. That's why and we you call this wind spoon? That's right, exactly. Because it looks like a spoon? Exactly. <laughs> it's a wound on the tip of the prop. That's why it's a wind spoon, yeah. Tell me about the other line for the light aircraft, uh, the other props that you have, Michael. Indeed, you know, Duke Propellers Company, we exist in since uh, 20 years, and now we are capable to do propellers for a light aircraft from a 40 horsepower engine up to big aircraft with big engine like a 180 horsepower engine. Okay. And then we have uh, aircraft for a pusher aircraft like that. We have also propellers for tractor aircraft and uh, like uh, for tr standard three axles also. And we install our props on gyros uh, on each kind of aircraft during in this uh, range of power, 40 horsepower up to 180 horsepower. Yeah. So you're very big in the community yeah. that we cover on this ultralight channel and on my website. Yeah. You've got that whole space covered quite well, don't you? That, that's right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now yeah. you also have, I just saw on your website, you have a whole new facility that you just celebrated recently. Exactly. Tell yeah. me about your new location. Yes, indeed, at the end of the year, uh, December 2016, we moved in a, in a new place. We built an entire new building, and now we are directly placed on an airport. We have uh, the direct access on the runway. And then it's great because we can make our directly our flight test. We can also welcome our customer to install props and make uh, some uh, tests. And then it's really great because we optimize our production way. And that's really great for the work here yeah, because everything is new and uh, we can move forward again yeah, and uh, increase our production. Yeah. The shiny new facility with some That's very right. impressive machines uh, exactly. that I saw uh, uh, that I'm not possibly capable yeah. of operating. But uh, about but that CNC type machinery exactly. used to make propellers. That's right. right. To indeed, we, our blades are molded. It's a mold process uh, to uh, obtain the shape. But for the finishing, we have CNC ah, machine okay. to finish the blade. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Trimming, trimming it, and so forth. That kind of activity. That's right. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Well, now, if you'll hand the microphone to yep. uh, Paul, Michael, I would like to... Paul has been... First of all, I, I kind of named him on my own the uh, the demo king of <laughs> Air Venture Oshkosh because not maybe this particular airplane, but one like this has done duty down here for so many years. I think you've flown more demo flights here in recent years than, well, anyone, I, I think is a fair statement. Yeah, they call me M Squared Airlines when they uh, announce. <laughs> so we uh, do a lot of demos. One passenger at a time, and they all right. come down with a smile from what I've seen. That's correct. But in doing all of that, you've got a lot of experience, and you go back in this industry a long ways, more than I'll even admit for you. But uh, a lot of experience, and a lot of experience with this engine on this kind of aircraft. So what do you think about Duke Elise on the back of your... Uh, 912 here. Well, you know, Dan, I was skeptical at first. Michael had come down and talked to me, finally convinced me to buy a prop, try it. If I didn't like it, I could send it back. Now, now that's All a pretty right? solid that's offer. A pretty, you know, that's pretty uh, responsible. And so, he obviously knew it was going to go okay, I'm he guessing. Did. So. He did. <laughs> so uh, when uh, we took it home, it took us a little bit, but we did get it put on. And in our preliminary testing, uh, we gained over 300 foot of climb rate really? at the same speed, at the same weight, over a competitor carbon fiber prop. Wow. And uh, that's one that I've used for years. It's an industry standard. There's nothing wrong with that prop. But this one is an option that is available. Uh, the top speed on this airplane increased by nearly 18 miles an hour. <laughs> is that right? At wow. The, at the same given weight, two pilots, the same weight same RPM. And now this is a fairly slow speed aircraft by design, so that number is a high percentage of the total. That's true. I mean, that That's was very a big true. gain. Same thing with the climb rate, That's I'm right. guessing. Yeah, we were we were doing somewhere between seven and 800 feet a minute, and it increased to 1,100 feet automatically. Wow. And it'll sustain it. 
it's not like it's a quick jump and you're there. Uh, keep it full throttle, lift the nose, and keep the airspeed, and it just continues to go. We, it's a, that's a, almost an unbelievable jump in performance for, I mean, I do believe you, but it's yeah. a hard number to believe because it's such a big increase all at once. So it is. Uh, that says yeah. a lot about what Michael and his team in uh, France are able to do with propeller design. Yeah. You know, we have a high drag airplane, so any increase will make it look better. The thing that was most ap appealing was the noise reduction. Ah, okay. Tell yeah. me a little more about that. Yeah, the I don't noise know if you can, can you quantify that, or is it just uh, intuitive? Well, no. It, it's uh, we did it with the decibel meter. Ah, okay. And I don't have the decibels in my head right now. It's well, written down. Okay. But it, it was like 20 dBs quieter at the same RPM, the same altitude, wow. and on takeoff. Wow. So those are three really strong characteristics. It's a very much very better important. climb, much better speed, and much lower noise. Yep. Uh, that's kind of the trifecta of propeller design, that's I would right. guess. How challenging was it to install for you? All right, well, like all propellers, you got a hub. We use a very large three inch spacer to get our blades away from our trailing ah, edge. Ah, okay, uh huh. All right, so the, the uh, spacer on the Duke is bolted directly to the hub. And uh, that's with your uh, uh, flange bushings and everything. And then the propeller is bolted directly to the spacer. Okay. And so they have drive pins also in the spacer and in the hub. So the, the drive pins also locate and secure the propeller. So it's a very, very solid system. And is that also how you adjust the prop? Now the prop this is, is a ground adjustable prop, is, first of all. It's yes. not, a, not an in-flight adjustable. So. Yes. Uh, there's a recommended number, so we uh, loosely put everything. Get the uh, they provide a excellent uh, protractor. It's actually a squeeze handle that you install onto the prop, and then you can level it, and then you do your measurement and get the bubble again. And of course, we do the uh, prop horizontal okay, on the ascending uh -huh. blade. And uh, once you do that, these bolts then are are lightly secured. Confirm all three of them are correct. Then you start your torquing around, and then you torque the balance. Okay. Now compare compare weight to the prop you used before. Is it heavier, lighter? You know, I know the the other propeller I use is significantly heavier. It could be as much as twice the weight. Okay. And you can feel that in the idle oh, and can the you? startup of the how engine. So? How so? How, how do you how do you notice that? Well, if you ever hear a 912 start, you'll hear the uh, gearbox rattle. Oh, yeah, yeah. And when they stop, the gearbox rattles. Right. With this prop, because of the low mass, the gearbox doesn't hit hard, it just yeah. stops. Oh. I'm beginning to get a picture about why people like your prop so much, Michael, but that's great. Everything he supplied went together like he said it would, and uh, like I say, I'm, I'm thumbs up. It's I'm really happy with the propeller. Uh, how do you see, you're from France, so how do you yes. sell them into the United States, Michael? Here right now, we have some dealers here in the US. For example, we work with Paul and he's a dealer for product. We have also other dealers uh, all over the country, uh, like Sportair USA, for example. And uh, we have some stock with them. Then the delivery time could be really fast, uh, like uh, two days, for example, okay, if it's in great. stock. Or if it's come from France, it take uh, the average time, it's like uh, two weeks. Yeah. Oh, well, still yeah. very quick then. Oh, yeah, okay. that's Excellent. right. And You're going to represent the product here as M squared or, or through your M squared operation. So people can find out about that on, on your website as well, Paul? Yes, yes, they will. If you go to the website, msquaredaircraft.com, you'll have a link there with all the information on it. Cool airplanes, cool props. And you can get a hold of Paul and find out all the all the right information because he knows Dan. a lot of it. So yep. thank you, Dan. You bet, Michael. If you'll give us a web address for how we find you, and then we'll continue to follow that. Yes, that's right. You can follow our Facebook page or directly our website. It's Duke D U C dash L E C S H E L I C E S dot com, and okay. you will have all the information, all the news. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. You can find more about M squared, the airplanes, and now the props as well. You can find more things about uh, Duke Elise props all on bydanjohnson.com where the affordable aviation is all over the place. Thanks for joining Michael Dedirian and Paul Mather and myself here in the ultralight area of EAA AirVenture Oshkosh.